Hey guys, it's Iron and today I'm back with another tutorial video, and this tutorial is on how to make a good thumbnail in GIMP. So first you need to open up a new document, 1280 by 720 because it's a thumbnail, of course. Then you want to paste in a background. <clears throat> I just chose this background. Um, and make that a new layer. You can delete the base layer. <coughs> and so... Next, uh, you might want to blur it. So go to Gaussian Blur in the filters. It'll open up a thing. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, I'll add a new thing so you can see it. It is this. there so now you guys can see it you want to go to it you and I think just play around with it I well, I think I'll do 20 and you see it'll blur the background because we want them to pay attention to the text or whatever picture and now let me close that okay so now, we're going to create a little effect on it where, like, the edges are shadowing. You can mess with this, too. But here's how I like doing it. I like, get, you get the little oval tool and select it like that. So, and then you're going to go down here. See this sort of thing right here? Click that, and I'll create this thing, in which, okay, it, w it was working. So it might take a second to load in. Then you want to right click, add layer mask, channel, quick mask. Make sure to pause if you like, um, if I'm going too fast. I'm um, sorry for that. So and then as you see, it'll like kind of do a thing here. And you want that. Then you go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And. Uh, you should do about that and it'll become like a shadow and you're gonna hit ok oh you can't see the box but do gosh and blur to 625 or somewhere around that range and then you it looks like this and you're like ew no that looks terrible I'm not done yet add a new layer of a foreground color make sure your foreground color is black Hit OK. Put this layer under. Turn off the quick mask. And I'll just unselect everything. And there, see? Everything is great. So next, you what you want to want to do is put where you're gonna put in there. So I I'm just put in text. You can put you can paste in like I'll show you how to paste in things. Um So you wanna paste some in someone's Roblox character. So you're gonna copy their thing and then go back in again, paste it, create a new layer. And then it should be good. But I won't need that. What I'm going to do is add some text. So first I'm going to add a text. Sync professional. And drag the box where you want it to be. So I have a lot of fonts. And I think I want to use recharge. So see how it looks. Just type whatever you want. Um, or I might want to. 
There's a lot of good fonts we can use, but I think I'm gonna go with. Let's see, I'm gonna go with. Um, hold on, let me open the. We'll just go with recharge, cause. And then you want to boost the size up. And as you see, that's too big. So there. And then you can just select the move tool, and there. So just move it to your liking. And then I'm gonna. You're gonna duplicate. This is how to like kind of get some good text going. So you're going to duplicate the layer twice. And actually only duplicate it once for now and then move the top layer up a little. And as you see now, it looks pretty good. And you want to duplicate the top layer. That's good. Now you want to right click the top layer for like some fancy colors or whatever you want. Do alpha to selection. Then you want to go to the gradient tool. And choose one. I want to do blue green. So you're going to do that. I'm going to try. There we go. But actually that kind of looks a bit weird. So I'm going to go with greens. Or actually, I'll just go with purples, because purples is cool. And then you want to select the second layer. If you want a border or something like that, you right-click Alpha to Selection, Select Border. And you can mess with this. Don't do it too big, because if you want a little shadow thing, I'll just, just put it at 5, I recommend. Command comma, you got a border. Now just unselect everything. And I'm going to try to. We can merge the top two now. So we can. this and then for the bottom layer you want to go to filters blur Gaussian blur and you can choose you can mess around with this and uh, don't you can't do it too big or else it'll completely disappear Until it basically looks like a shadow, and I think that looks pretty good. So I'm going to set it to that. And now you've got some pretty nice looking text. So I'm going to do that again really quick. There we go. And now you just select the move tool, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Let me combine these two. There, now you can d duplicate layer. Move a bit up. And duplicate the top layer. Now you're all set. Right click. Alpha to selection. We're gonna do the same purple. That'll work. And alpha to selection. Select border. Okay. 
man, comma, merge these two. And then, and we're gonna have to move this up just a little so we can see the shadow again. Just hit repeat Gaussian blur. And now you have a pretty good looking thumbnail. Um. And I'll actually combine these two. So I can move them around. I'm actually going to look for an overlay. So. So I just got the GIMP thing. We'll add that as a new layer. We'll just cut out whatever we can. Here, let's actually do it with a different overlay. Here we go. We can use the scale tool to size it down. think that'll do. I'm gonna rotate it a bit. Move it. So now, you got your nice thumbnail, and I think this looks pretty nice. Has a good overlay. Um, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this small tutorial, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe and there's actually one more thing I'd like to show you guys I'm gonna duplicate this really quick in the bottom one I'm gonna add a layer mask So I'm trying to do something real quick. Um, basically what I'm trying to do is add a shadow. I'm going to move this one up a bit. Or make it a bit 3D. I think that looks pretty good. So thank you guys for watching. Peace out.